To me, Black Sands was, uh, it, you know, it was a big record for me, probably the biggest one. Um, just in terms of like how, I think, especially in the US as well, I think, it, you know, things have been bubbling under nicely in Europe, but I think Black Sands was the thing that, that really kind of started exposure out this way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I made that, it's, it's, it feels like the same process that making this record was making the last one, you know, it's just kind of, it's kind of crazy to be sort of, sat in a room at four in the morning just kind of with a laptop and headphones and then to sort of travel somewhere and, and have people recognize music that's, that, that was very sort of personal to me you know a few months previously but um, I don't know what it is I don't know what connection I think it's just kind of you know I just try and sort of make music that sounds as human as possible and I think maybe it just sort of connects with people that way it's been three years since Black Sands it's kind of pretty much exactly three year gap between the last this record and the last one but obviously like a good year and a half of that was touring Black Sands uh, with the live show we kind of went pretty hard I mean we're about to do it again with this new album but but we spent like you know almost two full years touring Black Sands so it was only the last year when I really kind of stopped doing the live show thing and I got back in the studio and just kind of went into that sort of extensive period of studio isolation and that's when uh, the North Borders came about. Well the way I kind of work with drums is I try not to get anything sounding too rigid. I mean there's not many live drums on this record, uh, not in a traditional sense at least. I mean the way I've been working with drums and percussion on this record is kind of gathering a lot of Foley recordings so I'll spend you know a morning kind of you know dropping keys onto a surface or kind of tapping a coffee cup or trying to sort of create drum sounds that aren't from drums and then building these kits um, and just try and changing it up you know I like to sort of I think there's there's so many surfaces that make drum like sounds that don't necessarily have to be drums and that's that's the way I kind of process and approach my percussion is to think outside of, of the traditional idea of what drums and percussion are you know there's lots of stuff that, that very sort of lots of very sort of micro recording I guess it's like if you take a camera lens and on a sort of like a macro setting and, and take a picture of something very small on the ground that's the kind of the equivalent of what I'm doing with with microphones I guess taking very sort of microscopic sounds like sort of just twisting the you know the squeaking of a, of a wine cork uh, and then amplifying it into this big kind of you know loud sound that's right up the front um, and that's kind of the way I approach sound really is just kind of getting the small things and making them sound a lot bigger